competition, a real competition. This isn't choreographed, this isn't predestined, that would be too complicated. This is a real sports tournament. Basically, some of you play football, some of you probably play cricket or rugby, you might do sport in your spare time. This is sport, okay, it's sport in pounds of armour, both literally in weight and money-wise. There's lots of skill involved in this and there's a true sense of competition here in the tilt yard. Now then, our jousters are aiming to hit each other fair and square. We have two men to help us sort that out. To my right, my right, is Valentin. Give us a wave, Valentin. I can't see through my veil. To my left will be Callum. There he is. Now they're standing on blocks, blocks of wood. And the idea of those blocks is they're now at the head height of a man on a horse. And it means they can look down the lance and they can see exactly where that particular jouster is striking his opponent. If he sees a good hit, the arm will go up vertically into the air like so. And then they will demonstrate to us where the hit has happened. To the head or the chest, uh, sorry, the, the shield will be three points. To the body, two points. To the arm, one point. If the uh, arm goes out horizontally, this is an illegal strike. The marshal will tell you what's gone wrong. If the arms are crossed downwards in front of the body, it's a no strike. They haven't hit each other. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Andy Dean, Andrew, sorry, has a baton of power. The baton is a certain length. If the jouster breaks their lance, do you want to show us? Oh, hello! Thank you. It, it's that long. And it's that long for a reason. If the lance is broken that much or further down, you'll understand when you see the jouster what I mean, he can award an extra point for lance breakage. And Lady Elizabeth here will be looking at horsemanship checking that everything is right between horse and rider, there's a good synergy and energy and empathy and sympathy. And she may award an extra point at the end of the competition for that. Right, my horse wants to joust. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to hand you over now to Mr. Dean who will explain the code of conduct he wishes to see here on the field and uh, he will introduce the jousters. Thank you very much Lady Beatrice, it's very simple. What I'm looking for both our riders is to start exactly where they are, which is perfect. They will then take their lance. They will then both indicate to me and to their opponent that they are ready by raising their arm vertically and loud and high. Once they've done that, I will simply shout, Allez, allez, and we'll be off. I'm looking for good pace and good speed from both of them, meeting somewhere near the middle and smashing their lances into smithereens. So everyone's ready. Let's get this show on the road. 